Hey, it's Joe Clients, and uh, I'm going to cover several of the Google Maps APIs. And so, if you go to this this main URL here, you can see there's uh, what is that? Uh, eight they have structured under the Google Maps API, and uh, there's some interesting stuff. I'm not going to go through each one; they're all very similar. Um, let me get back here. Let's start off with the Directions API. So let me come in here and edit my script. Um, in in of course, you got to get your own secret key. Um, I'm reading my data as a variable, so I don't have to share it here. And uh, I'm building a query string. This, you know what? Let me add that down here. So when I share it, oh, actually, you know what? I added that to my hot string. So there we go. So that will this builds your um, key value pairs for your query string. So it, you start off with having an origin, basically the address of where you're starting from, and a destination. Of where you're going to be end up going to, and then uh, you provide your um, your key. So you say key is and the equal the uh, the actual secret token they give you. Uh, the endpoint is this uh, directions, and you can get it in JSON or XML. I prefer JSON. So here's my actual API call, where I'm going to the endpoint. I'm getting it. I'm concatenating the endpoint query string together because it's a get request. I'm sending it in the response. I come back and I'm, I'm actually, you know, I don't, I don't recall um, if I need to make it pretty or not. Let's uh, comment this out. It might return back um, already decent looking. So I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna launch it. Looks good. And when I run it, it's gonna dump it into my output window, which I just prefer over. Creating a new yeah that's not that's not terrible um, I could run it through my pretty response stuff but um, it's it's clear enough where I can see and so this would of course get me my directions from the one location to the other um, so that's a that's a pretty cool straightforward script I'm gonna exit out of that move on to my next one so let's do geocoding. So basically, all their stuff, which is awesome, is, is very similar, right? You uh, you, you get your key from them, um, and then here I'm going to put in my address, which is, uh, this is the key value pair, so I'm passing address equals that, and then I pass it my key, and here I'm going to run this one, and now when I run it, this one actually, I'll leave in the pretty one so we can see it, it makes it just a little bit more structured. Um, but it looked up that address and returned the uh, lat and long. Oh, it look, looks like it returned a lot more than that. Let's take a look here. Um, yeah, here's the lat launch, right? But um, re returned a lot of other information as well. So that's the, the geocode uh, one. I'm going to exit out of that and come back in here. What's up next? Places. Places is pretty cool. I remember um, playing with it. So I just opened it up. I couldn't remember if I had moved my uh, token into the uh, the uh, variable where I read it in. So just wanted to make sure I had done that. And I haven't played this in a bit, but I'm gonna I'm looking for nearby places. Return it in XML. Um, oh, you know what? I haven't adopted the adapted this to a. Uh, let me let me tweak this to where um, again I'm gonna put in my. Um, my function and save that and now just because I like keeping things consistent oh and look at that this is actually this is one I hit that a long time ago so this doesn't matter but um, it's just better to stay consistent so anybody following this can see what what is happening here and, it, and it's the same with across all of my stuff which is also why initially I just had it iterating over this but I realized there's no need for having that inside each um, of my scripts, what I basically do is have this saved as a function inside my library. It allows me to reference it, I, so that's why I don't have it in my scripts. But unless you have it in your library, you'll need to have it in your script. So here, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this, and let's change query string is going to equal, now I need my function, query string builder. Uh, so that is that, and then it takes an object, which means 
Oh, look, I already have it up here as an object, so I think this is what... Now I grab this, and I can grab that whole thing and dump it in there. It's really mostly the same thing, I just didn't have it actually in a function. And so, now, let's see, I have my endpoint, I have my location, and I'm looking for food um, or, or within a thousand. Let's change that to a hundred. Shrink it down some. And I'm going to launch it. Okay, launched okay. Let's uh, let's see. I'm calling API. Oh, and actually, this is interesting as I have it in a function for my API call, which is fine, right? It's, it's honestly, it's preferred. It's just I've been demonstrating all these before. I don't think I actually need this header. Um, and less is more. And less is just less. Fewer things will break. Um, this is going to send it in response. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to run it. Oh, zero results. So, oh, all right. Well, let's let's go ahead. I don't know if that's meters. Let's save that back. Um, I know it's not miles, but I don't remember. Here we go. So now I returned back a bunch of food places. Um, great, Walmart. Yeah, that's where I'm going for food. Oh, maybe that is food. It's not restaurant. Let's see what the next one was. Uh, but this is hitting that places stuff in the map. To, oh, okay, so here's a restaurant. Roses is very close to. Um, I think I have it sorted... There's a way, I believe, a parameter you can pass to have it sort by distance. Um, let's, anyway, that's, uh, that is the example of doing the... Uh, which one am I on here? Places. places. So I'm going to save that, then I'm going to exit. And I think we'll... let's cover one more. Places in time zone. So this one... Um, interesting. I saw another one for elevation, also, that, that could be helpful, depending on what you're doing. This one will look up a given time zone, depending on where you are. And so here, of course, I'm reading in my token. I'm building my query string with the location. Here, it's actually a, um, a tuple. A tuple, which I, I guess maybe it is common across everything when I was learning Python. It's like a... it's... it's... Um, it's two values, right? It's a pair of things. So this has two values that I'm passing to it, which is the lat and launch in that order, or you'll be, you know, in a crazy location. So it's a comma delimited uh, two digit, um, sorry, two, two, two numeric values. And you tell it this is the location, and you have to tell it um, at what time, right, you want to compare it to. And this was for on March 15th of 2016. Um, they say JSON. This is I borrowed it from there, but um, in reality, I'm, well, you know what? Let's just change change it to JSON, and then we'll keep it consistent. So I'm going to launch this, and when I run it, oh, oh, what happened? Oh, I'm an idiot. Um, because I passed it through, so I passed it to my uh, XML prettier. Um, so. So, there we go. That, now it should work. So, this said at that day and time, it was, uh, Eastern Daylight Time, and, um, this is the other information that's returning back. So, that, in a nutshell, was, what was that, four API calls to different Google Maps, um, services, which you can see there's other ones here. And, uh, it, it's pretty awesome, pretty amazing how easy it is to connect to these things. You can get a token, um, let me see if I can go to one here. Once you get in here, you, you start doing it, and you can say, get a key, and this is going to pull up a window, and you can choose, hopefully you've already created something, and then once you do, it'll, you hit that, and I'm not going to hit it because I don't want it to either show mine or have to change mine, but you can, uh, get a token value and just start plugging away. Alright, thanks.